All right, we're now going to move on to Captain Robin Janssen. Uh Robin, just want to get started with your overall thoughts on the match tonight. Uh, tough game. Um, two teams that uh, really won it. I think that uh, New York was a little bit better in the first half, and uh, and we were a little bit better in the second, um, getting some good chances. And um, it was a tough opponent today. They did it well. Um, it's always hard to play them, um, but overall, I think. Uh, Coming from a game uh, two days ago and uh, going into this one, I think uh, we did a did a great job, um, the whole team. Um, and then, um, yeah, we scored first, and then they equalized, uh, which feels a little bit bitter uh, directly after. But uh, we we take the point and then move on. We'll go to Michael and then Austin. Robin, uh, very defensive game. Not a lot of chances for either side in this one. It, was that a product of the way both teams were playing? Was it the heat, the three games in eight days for both teams? Was it all of that? You know, what, what were your thoughts on the pace of the game tonight? I think you can uh, put all of those uh, criteria in there. Um, it's been a tough week uh, for most of the teams in the league. Um, but uh, in the end of the day, this is our job, and uh, we tried to go for the three points today. Had one zero, but then uh, we got one point. But um, when the game is this tight, we just uh, we take this point, move on from here, and we have find a great momentum with the games before we've been winning four in four in a row. row. So um, just uh, continue grinding as a team, and then uh, I think we have got the unit. Uh, together better on the field, uh, more synchronized, and uh, the way we work both uh, offensively and uh, defensively. Awesome. Robin, just playing under the, the pressure that New York plays with and, and really pressing the back line, forcing you guys to kind of play a little bit longer and not through the midfield as you would like more, how does that kind of, how did you adjust to that over the course of the game and, and you know, finding Ramiro and those guys downfield as kind of outlets and playing that way rather than just playing on the ground through the midfield as you usually do. Yeah, we, we knew it before. They uh, normally step where they're, uh, with their uh, midfielders. Um, but as you say, we want to uh, to play more through the middle. But uh, sometimes you just have to adapt and uh, see if you can find an easier game when uh, you know that they're coming pressing hard on you. Um, so um, yeah, we knew it before. Uh, and then uh, maybe we could have found uh, some balls there earlier in behind um, to put uh, Ramiro and uh, the guys there in the in the spaces. I think though in the second half we uh, we came better in behind. Um, so um, yeah. Over to Mike. Robin, <coughs> obviously a lot's changed this season because the way things started. But you guys are now five games unbeaten. Obviously the four games in a row where you guys won, and obviously the tie today. But obviously you guys have a a bit of, a bit of some time off before the League's Cup. Obviously Friday, but. How is the team feeling now? You guys have some rhythm. You, you just said the team's a lot more synchronized, but how is the overall collective group right now going into basically a new tournament, um, especially with the momentum I guess you guys have going into it? No, I mean, the chemistry of a group, you know, uh, when you win, it's it's always easier. Uh, when you lose and you're in a down period like we were for a quite long time, uh, which we didn't like, no one likes that. Uh, in our work, we we work to win and sometimes it um, it doesn't come and then you still have to uh, keep working, uh, even though it's tough and your uh, uh, confidence and uh, stuff like this is um, down to the floor sometimes maybe, uh, then you you still have to work and that's, that shows what this group has been doing. Uh, we, tr we have been trying to turn this around earlier, uh, but... Um, What's in the past, in the history, we cannot we cannot go back and change now. Everything we can do is look forward and uh, keep the momentum, like we I, I said before, keep building on that one, the four wins and the draw today. Um, just keep the chemistry within the group. Uh, the, a lot of the players has got more like uh, confidence uh, on the field to do stuff. In the beginning beginning of the season, I felt we were a little bit short, like almost all over the field. We were. Too bad defensively, too bad attacking. We were not like synchronized as a unit. Um, but um, yeah, uh, a couple of weeks back, we started to get uh, things together and the results started to come our way. We gained self, uh, confidence and the uh, group chemistry. You know how this works with wins. Um, it, it comes a little bit easier, uh, but we, we, we really fight it together as a, as a team. Uh, when we were uh, down there very low, um, which no one of us wanted to be. 
uh, we just wanted to get up there but sometimes in uh, in our work this is the way it it is and uh, you just have to try to um, to uh, find the success go to chris and then we're going to wrap up on the zoom hey robin um in the first early in the first half it seems like the offense was a little bit out of sync without faku um him coming off the bench it took you guys a little bit time to get a good rhythm also at the end of the first um, you guys got more and more penetrating into the New York defense. Was that the Florida home field advantage at the end of the first? And, and what do you think about the beginning of, uh, of that, that half? Yeah, maybe um, Faku and Nico is a little bit different in the way that they like their personality on the field. So uh, we knew that Nico will, would be more uh, a pocket, in the pocket guy. Uh, but Faku, Faku is having both, like in the pocket, but he can also go outside. And uh, and with Nico also, they are a little bit similar with the ball. They drive from one side and then into the middle with the left foot and uh, can try to create from there. Um, but I think today Faku, he, he, gives us, uh, he gave us a little bit more uh, in the sense of going in behind. Um, so, um, yeah, I think so. We're going to go to Gustavo Chacon on the uh, Zoom for our final one. Hey, Robin Gustavo from Lemon City Live. Um, obviously, last season, you guys had one of the better seasons in the history of the club. So you had a lot of high expectations going into this season. Obviously, got off to a slow start, but you guys as a squad seem to be finding your form as of late. What do you think has been the biggest catalyst for the uh, for you guys finding your form lately? No, I think as I said before, like the guys are finding the net, the guys are finding the connections, getting their confidence, confidence to race, and then you feel more comfortable on the field to do to do stuff. In the beginning, it felt a little bit, like I said, like short, like maybe you get the ball and then you don't really know what to do or can I do this? But with the confidence, stuff like that just comes out of the blue. So uh, um, the most annoying thing is that we had, like you said, same as last season, uh, that we started like this, struggling. Uh, I was hoping that we could uh, figure out that earlier this season uh, to be uh, to be um, to be up there and be uh, be better in the beginning of the season. But uh, as I said, it's history. Now we just have to look forward and uh, try to bring those uh, three points after the league league's cup is uh, over with, and we we're gonna try to um, take our momentum into that. That uh, that cup to uh, find a good rhythm and hopefully we can uh, uh, put the team uh, uh, long into that tournament.